Hey guys, this is Akhil from Almost Social and TechSum TV. Hey, what's happening, guys? This is your favorite tech savvy HSB here. Hey, guys, this is Kirtan Bart from Gadget Park. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Suraj from Tech Devoted, and my video editor of choice is Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, there's two main reasons behind this. Firstly, the design. I like the design on Premiere Pro quite a lot. It's quite minimal slash modern, just the way I want it. Uh, the design on say softwares like Sony Vegas is just a bit too dull slash dated in my opinion. That's just me. You don't have to agree. Secondly, why I like Premiere so much is because of the tools it has to offer or effects. Uh, that's the way it's called in Premiere. Uh, I like Lumetri Color quite a lot. It's a tool that I use to color grade my videos just all the time. It just really helps. It eliminates the need for me to get a different software just to be able to color grade my video so I really like that. Another tool I really like is Warp Stabilizer. Uh, it just uh, lets me throw on an effect, lets me throw an effect and stabilize my clip quite a bit. May not be the best, may not be gimbal like stabilization but it works right. So that's pretty much why I like Premiere and that's uh, basically why it's my go to editing software. Thanks so much for having me Kirtan and I hope you guys have enjoyed. Hey guys, this is Akhil from Almost Social and TechSum TV. My choice of video editing software has to be a combo of iMovie and FCP. First, iMovie because it came free along with my MacBook and iMac, so I was using it. And since I'm a photographer, I was really not into video editing that time. But when I moved to YouTube, I started using iMovie initially because it was something which was very basic for everyone to understand each and everything even after watching no tutorials at all. So you can do it yourself. Talking about FCP, I was not at all aware of FCP, what exactly that is. And it came to, it came as a shock to me when I came to know that my MacBook was having FCP pre-installed in it. I have no clue why and for what reason, but it had it because usually it is like a one-time fee of almost 18,000 or 19,000 rupees in comparison to something like Premiere Pro where you will have to pay some amount every single month. So then again, talking about all the features and everything, I'm really not going to dig into that because that is something which each and every editing software has. So really not going to talk about that, but that's my choice, iMovie and FCP. I'm hoping that you will dig into the description of this video to check out all the channels which are part of this collaboration. Make sure you are checking each of those. Who knows, you might find another favorite channel. So that's it from my end. Take care. Hey, what's happening guys? This is your favorite tech savvy HSB here. And as you know, I make videos on tips and tricks and tech reviews. So a video editor is totally required. And I use the Sony Vegas Pro 13 as a video editor. So let's find out what are the reasons why I use it. Number one is for its compatibility. In the sense, my computer is very low end PC with very lower end specs and haven't updated my PC from around five years. And to run a software which has a lot of features in it is totally difficult, but Sony Vegas manages to stay in my computer and really helps me to edit videos on the go and is totally simple. Number two is for its simple UI. It's totally simple and anyone who know the basic stuff in a video editing can just manage to use it or can learn it within few hours or days and it's totally great. Number three is for its features. In the sense it comes with a lot of features for the software it has and many filmmakers also use the Sony Vegas Pro 13. Hey guys, this is Kirtan Bart from Gadget Park and my video editor of choice is HitFilm 4 Express. There are four major reasons for it. Number one, it's free. We just need to share their product on social media. Number two, it has all the features required for major video editing work. You can tweak each and everything so that you get the best output. It completely fulfills my requirement and I must say it's very very powerful. Number three, it has a decent system requirement. I use it in a i3 third generation processor and it works great. Number 4, it has an easy to use UI but in case if you feel difficulties you can always go through their YouTube channel and learn about it. So I think you should definitely give a try to this software. If you like my content consider subscribing to my channel. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button if you liked it. Please hit the dislike button if you disliked it. I loved working with these people. They are awesome YouTubers. Do check them out. Links in the description. So that's pretty much it guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked our content, consider subscribing our channels. And if you have any other doubts regarding the video editors, mention it in the comment section. 
So that's pretty much it guys for this video. Thanks for watching. This is Kirtan Bhatt signing off. Have a great day. Bye bye now.